Okay, let's now open a new file. It's a different picture that I took of these chickens on the street near my house. <laughs> and I want to show you a few different things, okay? I'm keeping the other one open just because we're going to be using it as well. So first thing I realized, I didn't show you how to rotate a picture in case you took it with your phone and it's just like on its side like you see here. So what you can do, if you click the crop button, no, it's not there, sorry. Um, there we go. Go to image up at the top, go to transform, and you'll see there's different rotating options and flipping. Um, since I know it's only 90 degrees away from where I want it, I'm just going to hit rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, and I'm going to want to crop these guys so I can select them. And I just kind of want a smaller space to work with, okay? So crop, I'll select it. And then to zoom in, at least on my computer, is to hit command plus. I'm not sure what it would be for yours, but you can look here, view, um, and it'll give you the shortcut there. So control plus plus, zoom in. Okay, so here's my little chickens. I actually, I'm gonna want to select them. And there's a few different ways you can do this. If you want a really clean line, come over here to quick selection. There's also magic wand or object selection. These are all the different select tools. I'm gonna try, magic wand was a little fussy. Photoshop is a little bit cleaner with this, but we'll try to see what Photopay can do. Okay, so I have the selection. I'm going to zoom in more so I can see these guys. And with quick selection, it actually just like recognizes the object pretty good. So I'm going to click that guy and that guy. But you notice they don't have the legs here or the little tail. So what you can do is go to refine edge to get a little bit cleaner of a um, selection. And what I'm going to do is zoom in more. So again, I did command plus, yours might be plus plus. And so you'll see on this right side is what is going to be saved. And then this is what on the left side, it's going to be um, uh, selected. So over here on the left, you can adjust the size of your tool. Um, I'm going to go a little bit smaller. You can also change the style of it as well. But for now, I just need this little one. That's fine. Um, so I want to get more of his tail feathers. And it's a little slow at loading. But let's see if we can do it. Do, 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 do. And you can kind of see over there on the right side it coming to life a little bit more. However, this tail that I'm highlighting is white anyway, so it's just not really recognizing it. But whatever, I'm trying to get a little bit more, and then I'm going to try to get their legs. So I'm going to go down here with my little select tool, get his chicken legs, and then go over here, get this little lady chicken legs all right so maybe yours is delaying as well it's kind of annoying but let's see and you kind of lose the cursor where is it oh there it is okay so to adjust also i would go up here to border and just make it like slightly bigger let's say five it just expands the you could even do 10. It expands the border of what you've selected. Um, definitely keep the checkerboard background. That just means it's, um, um, what was I going to say? It just means that it is going to be transparent. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and hit OK as a new layer, and then I'll make a second video to show you what to do next. 